it's a good opportunity to try out a, a bit of a time travel experiment. Well, it's a beautiful day. This isn't much of a vlog, I'm afraid, but look, before we get into it, let's get rid of some of these whiskers. A few moments later. Well, that's better. I had to have some whisker growth for a movie that I've been filming and uh, there's quite a few gaps in between and for continuity you want to look the same. I did some filming late yesterday afternoon um, into the night way down at Tambourine Mountain which is about an hour and a half's drive from home. Well, I'm just on the way to a film set um, up here in Mount Tambourine. Very pretty. I sure hope the GPS is right though. I won't give too many details of the film, even though some of it's been made public. Some of the people in it you probably know, especially if you're in Australia, Rowena Wallace, who is a terrific veteran actress, probably best known for her appearance as Pat the Rat in Neighbours. Of course, I don't film any behind the scenes uh, shots. That's not my place to do. And how smart was it of me to uh, go to the mountains where it gets cold at night anyway, um, wearing shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> Not very smart because it's winter, so it was rather cold. Well, that's a wrap for the moment anyway, which is pretty good. It's pretty cold, it's nine degrees. And here in the, up in the sticks and I've got to find the gateway. And there we go, an hour and a half home. It was actually six degrees apparently when I woke up before. Um, it's pretty chilly. This is just a quick update vlog. Um, the last couple of videos I've put out have been a little bit more serious in nature, so just a light-hearted update really of what I've been doing lately. Well, I had a birthday last week. I didn't film it. I don't film everything I do or every place I go, but I did take a couple of still shots. And now I'm old. <laughs> Now this is the part that you've been waiting for that I decided I need to try out today for real. The trouble is I want to put this together for you today but there's a family gathering tomorrow, a reunion per se and um, well I suppose I should show you a bit of that. So there's my quandary, what do I do? And then I thought well it's a good opportunity to try out a, a bit of a time travel experiment. So join me if you will. So look into my eyes and let's begin. Well here, well here we are tomorrow. The time travel experiment obviously works. The family gathering. My cousin fell in and my cousin Gwen. Oh my God. Photos. Hello, hello, Steve. Taking photos of all cousins. That's quite a happening thing. Oh, Steve, you light. Oh, my light. Some behind the scenes stuff happening here. And a head in shot. And quite weird. <laughs> and someone down there with a photo with a photo frame that apparently is supposed to be having a photo taken there. I don't know what's going on. I'm going back to yesterday. <laughs> Well, what did you think? Was that a successful experiment? Because now you're back into yesterday. Hmm. And now you've seen into the future. You've seen what I have not yet seen. So congratulations. Well, okay, there's your update and uh, experiment. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you didn't like this video, let's try something lateral. Please click like. If you thought it was really stupid, please click like. But if you did get a laugh out of it, perhaps you'd like to even hit subscribe. Alright, thanks for joining me. Just a little update too. 
Um, I'm planning to make a couple of very quick, this time, very quick, uh, little health tips that I've been thinking about that you can do at home. So uh, don't think I've changed genre for good. Uh, they're just a couple of little things I'm planning to do in the next week. There have been a couple of um, health concerns that I haven't mentioned and probably won't. Needless to say, uh, a couple of blood tests that um, came back a little, well, they had some question marks around them, so I'm pursuing what that's all about. Anyway, look over there. Also, this is, on a serious note, my little bubby, mini tip, or tippy. She's, um, how old are you now? 18, going on 19 next year. Well, look, we don't know. Um, I just took her to the vet the other day and uh, whilst her levels are good, she does have hypothyroidism. Um, she does have fits and she's been doing that since she, well, pretty well had hypothyroidism diagnosed a couple of years ago. So, say something, Tibby. She normally talks a lot. Look, 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 camera. She's not used to being on camera much. And... Uh, well, the vet rang me yesterday and said uh, about the fits, usually with cats, not always, um, it's a sign of a brain tumour. And to even get scanned is a couple of thousand dollars and, um, alright, I wanted this on camera to be. I love you. Well, there you go, so, anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, look. Just to be serious for one second, we know the sad reality that um, I've always known that as they get older, her and her mum, who's even a year older, uh, her mum is now 19, no one lasts forever, you know what I'm saying. This has been Steve Mack, signing out from the future, or is it the past? Here. I'll leave you a bit of uh, moon footage that I shot a while ago. Okay, see ya.